I know it was too good to be true. This itching is just too much to bear. Hi everybody, I've been sitting around thinking. I have noticed that there are a lot of new people with sister locks. It's like, it just seems like after the salons opened up, there were a lot of people waiting to get their sister locks put in. And I knew that there was, I, I just know. There was a lot of excitement about getting the sister locks. I remember when I got my sister locks, when I was waiting for it, I didn't think that my consultant should have made me wait that long after putting in my test locks to install my sister locks. But I knew that I had to wait. I knew that it was part of the process. But I've just noticed the excitement and all the pictures being presented in the sister lock groups. Also on YouTube, people are publishing videos on their new sister lock journey. And I just think it's amazing. I think it's amazing. I think it's a good time for sister locks. But just as you're getting excited about those sister locks then after a while you'll see the comments questions videos about the itchy scalp about the itchy scalp it almost seems as if sister locks caused the itchy well, scalp we know that's not true one of the things that happens when we get sister locks is that our scalp is more exposed which means that there could be more dryness and other things could be going on you see as a loose natural we tend to use a lot of products on our hair we have deep conditioners we have our carrier oils our essential oils we have the shampoos that we use that are different and we are sealing in moisture with different types of oils and these things are not always that easy to just shampoo out so it's not always water soluble so it doesn't come out that easy your scalp could possibly be coated or you could possibly have buildup on your scalp. And now that your scalp is exposed, it now reacts to whatever is there. A lot of people have used apple cider vinegar, clarifying shampoos, um, sea breeze, witch hazel, and other things to gain relief from the itch. I'm not one of those people that experience the itchy scalp. I had a little bit of itching right up in the top of my scalp in the beginning, but that didn't last very long. I talked to my consultant about it and she told me about the pH balance and your scalp now trying to correct it. So she told me just to depend on the natural sebum from my hair. So I'm a, I massage my scalp a little bit to sort of like help it to come to the surface more. So what we have to realize now is that we're dealing with a different animal. Though your hair is still natural, your consultant has said only shampoo and only use water. And that's kind of unbelievable. At first to me, it was unbelievable. 
I knew that when I shampooed my hair as a loose natural, that after I shampooed my hair, I was going to deep condition my hair. After deep conditioning my hair, I was going to rinse that out and I was going to use a leave-in conditioner. And then after that, I was going to use a moisturizer and some oil and then some type twisting cream or gel. And so now that I am a sister lock sister and not supposed to use all those things, I had to adjust and adjust I did. I'm one of those people that listened to my consultant. I did not put, put oil on my scalp. And I realized that I had a mild form of itching. And there may be some of you who has extreme itching. And if you have some type of extreme itching, just like if, if you had an extremely bad headache, over a period of time, you'd probably go to the doctor. That's what I would suggest. Go see a trichologist or someone to check your scalp and see what's going on. Don't forget to drink plenty of water. Plenty of water. Because you need to hydrate your body. You need to remain hydrated because now you're not using all the moisturizers for your hair. And yes, I was just thinking about my sisters, my newly locked sisters who were so excited about being locked. And then at some point, you're going to say, I know it was too good to be true. This itching is just too much to bear. Take care of your body. Take care of your hair. Take care of your scalp. If the itching continues, continue to listen to what your consultant says. Talk to your consultant because using the oil early in your sister lock stage could cause slippage. So you don't want your itchy scalp to cause you to then use oil you use the oil and the oil caused slippage and now your sister locks are not in its most healthy state. It has to be repaired or more interlocking done, which will take more time, which will cause you to pay more money. And sister lock already costs enough, enough, enough. But this is a sister who loves her locks, I love my friends, my family, and I especially love God because he's been so good to me. And so I've been thinking about you. And I just wanted to make this video to let you know, yes, the itch is real, but just like trouble, it doesn't last always. <laughs> Have a great day.